all to come here to tell us all the gossip from their wham days. It's Pepsi and Shirley! <laughs> Don't forget to vote for the WAM video you want to see played later on. Go to our website where you'll find all the details. Uh, but now, our first guest today is a bona fide music legend. Approaching his 43rd year in the business, he captured the nation's hearts back in 1972, aged just eight, singing the cute and classic Long Haired Lover from Liverpool. And nowadays, we don't care if he's all grown up. We certainly haven't lost touch with how much we love the Osmonds. Nobody gets to A legend in his own right. Please welcome Jimmy Osman. <laughs> It's changed a bit since it I've been on. Yeah. Well, thank you for noticing. Yes. Do you like it? I like it. I'm yeah. into all that. That's very good. It's, it's yeah. a bit like a panto set, I suppose. It is. It's quite Isn't bright. It? It's very have, nice. Have you started rehearsals yet for your not panto? Not yet. Next week. Yeah. Next week we start. This time, I'm not uh, buttons. I'm wishy-washy. Oh. <laughs> yes. I'm, ex I'm uh, in Swansea. I've never been there oh. before. Oh, but it's kind of cool because our family is actually... Welsh and English, so that's where yeah. a lot of our heritage is from. So, looking forward to it. We're in the Ladin this year. Oh, okay. And it's you open, Jimmy? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> oh, you the 16th of December. 16th of December, yeah. but it goes all the way through January 15th, I think. Are you oh. rehearsing right now? No, next week. Next yeah. week, yeah. Okay. But and you've it, done it before, haven't you? I've done the, the uh, Cinderella before, but never yeah. Aladdin. And this time it's in 3D, they say, but I thought all theatre was in 3D. <laughs> <laughs> But I guess they put on glasses during certain parts Apparently, of the show. Yeah, for the genie. The genie something. comes at you, and so it should be quite fun. And, and I do it because my family loves it. You know, I have four beautiful little kids, and yeah. they come over and we make it a whole Christmas thing. Do they get it? Because uh, I'm sure a lot of your friends must think, what, what is <laughs> yeah. this panto thing? I that explain you do? what it is, and Americans don't get it. But I love it. It's so fun. You know, you look out into the audience and you see everyone from grandma to a little kid and they're all taking away something different, you know. Yeah. So it's a very British thing, but I love it. It's a very British thing. Men dressing as women and women dressing yeah. as men. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of American stars coming over here to do yeah. it now. A lot. And matter of fact, we tried something. I do, I do a lot of promotion. And last year, my friends at QDOS uh, helped me and I took Aladdin over to China and we did a little test, okay. a panto in Chinese, which was quite unique. Wow. And my nephew, Marie's son, he speaks fluent Chinese, Mandarin, okay. and uh, it went over great. So I think the rest of the world's ready for panto, oh. don't you? Okay. Come on. Okay. <laughs> and isn't it true you're going, you're going to do a, a special performance next year to raise money for, for families the miners, of the miners? For the miners out there. Yeah, I heard oh, of, of their plight. And so it was kind of cool. All the performers got together and said, let's do something. Good. You know, so, yeah. Now, obviously, we were talking about I'm a Celebrity earlier on, and you took part in it. So you know wow. what they're going through. Who Six you like years to win? ago, wasn't it? Six was years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, was, I was in the jungle when it was safe to be in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> Who were you in there with then? Uh, Carol Thatcher won that year. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Nice. yeah, I got in a bit of trouble. Remember, I snuggled a teddy bear. I in. know. Yes. And he had all kinds of yummy treats inside. <laughs> I didn't know what it was really about. You know, they said, oh, you're a foreigner, you'll get voted off first, you know. And I stood, I, I, was, in, I was in there the full time, you know. So. Do, you, do you think it's harder to be in there now than it was when you were in there? I think it's more challenging, you know, psychologically. But I'd be good in prison, I decided, because. <laughs> You know, the way I grew up, I grew up on the road, you know, on, on the airplanes. You guys know what, what that life is like. And, yeah. and I actually had fun in there. Is that sick or wrong? Or well, no, you might not be good in prison, but you'd be good on the run. <laughs> but, but some of the mates that I had in there yeah, okay. are still mates today, you know, so right. it's quite So fun. are you a doer? Are you, are you happy to let someone else take control or would you get right in there and...? Well, I'm, I'm okay letting other, other people take control in, until a certain point. And if it's all willy-nilly, I, I jump in and... Uh, and try to take control. I guess I am a control freak. <laughs> Who a was the bit. controller in there when you were there? Was it Carol? Well, Carol was yeah. very much large and in charge and, 
And, uh, it's usually and she a was, woman, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and I'm all right with that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the head of the house in my family, but my wife's the neck that turns the head, you know. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so you're, but you're quite in control in terms of your brothers, aren't you? Because you're the one that organizes the tours and, and Yeah, for the you? past 20 years, I've managed the brothers, and I help my, help my sister a lot. And I don't know why they've trusted me to do that, but it's really blessed my life because yeah. I like both sides of the camera, you know. I still produce a lot of shows. Matter of fact, I produced a, a, a series that aired over Easter and uh, here in the UK recently. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I love both sides. And I would never have had that experience if my family wouldn't have trusted me to, sure. to sort things for them. But it's know? all coming to an end, isn't it? Well, it is for this lineup of brothers. And I was talking to a researcher the other day, and they said, Jimmy, do you realize your brothers are the longest running group in history? How many wow. years? Having never been disbanded. 54 50 years. Good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, nice. Well, that's longer than I've been on the planet. <laughs> just. 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 Yeah. So what's the secret, then? How come you guys have just kept going, not fallen out, not disbanded? I don't know. You know, we had great parents, and we never took each other or ourselves that serious. I don't take myself serious. You can't. Mm -hmm. You know, and you're going to have ups and downs in a career. You know, everybody goes through, and we've definitely been through tragedies, sure. but somehow we've handled it by doing it together. Right. And it's always been more of a team effort rather than so narcissistic about yourself, you know? Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. this business can really, you know, I've had so many friends that I've worked with that were child stars, and, and they didn't have that infrastructure yeah. and support yeah. Yeah. around them. I'm just grateful I had what I had, because, yeah. you know, I'm a happy guy. Do, how do you feel that it, that it may well be coming to an end? Is it a bittersweet thing, or are you ready to move on it's to something different? It's hard for me. You know, Brother Merrill, he does his own thing now quite a bit. And we're performing as three brothers now, mm -hmm. Wayne Merrill, I mean, Wayne Jay and myself. But Merrill was always the cool lead singer, you know, that had that real raspy voice. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, it's going to be bittersweet, but we're doing 50 dates Good here grief. in the UK alone. If that doesn't kill us, I don't know what will. <laughs> but, um, but, you know, we love to work. We grew up the old yeah. Hollywood way where we were practically vaudevillians, you know. Yeah. And uh, so this show is up close and personal, we call it, because we want it to be that. It's one victory lap, not playing the big arenas like last time. We're playing, yeah. you know, the smaller venues. Yeah. And we want to be able to be spontaneous and change the show. If grandma comes from the Walt Disney days or a young kid that's experiencing your music for the first time, yeah. we want it to be that kind of interactive nice. experience. It's, it's quite fun. I well, just ask you just quickly, how would you feel about your children going into the business? Oh, I, I discourage it. How would you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're very talented little things. And, uh, uh, you know, and I would always support what they wanted. But it's a different world today. And you wouldn't kick them out at 18 then, so they stand on your own two feet. You know what's funny is I'm the youngest of, of nine, and I've seen brothers that have a lot and, and brothers that haven't had a lot, and mm. I've, I've looked at their children, and the kids that had to struggle are all doing well. Yeah, and yeah. so there's, there's got to be proof in the pudding in that concept. I Valia, think it's, it's critical mm. to teach kids how to work. My dad was an army sergeant, so we always had to work, and, mm. and it was never given to us. Yeah. And uh, so I, I don't know, I'm kind of one of those dads, though, that wants to give them everything. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Bring uh, yourself yeah. in. Now, apart from all, obviously all the tour dates you mentioned, I will tell you, because just in case you don't know, you, Jimmy, are going to be <laughs> at the Grand Theatre in Swansea from the 16th of December. Yes, Write this I'm down excited Until the 12th that. of January 2012. Yes. Jimmy Osmond, everyone. Thank you for getting me out of the hot seat. <laughs> Thank you. I'm now at VA. Okay, it's competition time again. If you fancy your Christmas.